Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do an FT and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So today, market uh, opened with a slight gap down and went uh, on the lower side, but as expected, a buying came from the lower end, and market was completely volatile and sideways, and definitely a confusion market at this stage. Okay, so market is already overstretched, and definitely there are. People are waiting for some, uh, you know, negativity to kick in so that people can maybe book their profits and short sellers can enter the market. So it is in this situation at the moment. So we'll see how the data is and uh, we'll take our decisions based on that. So this is the participant wise open interest. And if you look at the data, today's data isn't that bullish uh i'll tell you why so yesterday if you remember uh, we saw that fis had added uh, a lot of future longs in the index uh, so that created more bullishness however market opened gap down and if you remember i in my telegram channel i had mentioned that market is opening with a gap down and we may see some selling pressure in the day so today if you look at the fis they have closed almost all the long positions that they created yesterday and they have added some shorts in the futures. So after uh, like, we'll just check here. So from almost like uh, 13th of July, so start of July, we are just seeing them that, you know, they are not aggressively adding any shorts here. So these are future shorts. However, they were exiting future shorts and then finally a very big exit came on 28th of July and then they were constantly adding future longs here. So yesterday we had a bigger number of future long being added here. Okay, and this was a short. So today they have almost closed everything and they have added shorts and the difference of uh, future long to future short has also reduced drastically so this indicates that at this place even fas are not confident that market should travel more upside okay so this is what we could understand from the data so let's just check out their positions so futures uh, they are definitely short okay and there is some long positions in the call however that isn't that significant but we can see that there is about 60,000 long in the put side similarly pros have 64,000 call shots and 42,000 put long so both of them uh, so we have discussed this earlier like options are factored in first so this is a clear indication that they have created negative positions in the options however they also have negative positions in the futures so definitely we can expect a dip going forward so we'll see where do we enter for a dip based on the chart so now we have a clear indication from data that fis and pros are not confident being bullish at this place so now let's quickly discuss the chart so this is nifty so Nifty, what it did is basically it, so if you remember, we discussed that below 17 to 40, uh, we'll take put option, but it immediately retraced from this place and went all the way to PDH. So at PDH, it formed double top and came down. Okay, so now where do we take our trades? So we need to find a support. So we do not have a clear horizontal support so what we can do is we can just make a trend line something like this okay and here we can see some selling pressure at this place like short sellers tried to short the market here so this is an important place so what we'll do is we'll keep today's high as a resistance only about this we will go long 
and we'll put another line here not an horizontal line a horizontal ray at this point 17300 okay and if it breaks it should be around 17280 okay so mark this particular trend line uh, so basically as per Dow theory we have got two bottoms we have marked the trend line so third only if it bounces from here is when it will get validated okay and if it doesn't bounce and if it breaks it definitely will go short here itself so here the level to be decided becomes difficult but below 17300 definitely we can see some selling pressure okay and the confirmation will be after the break of this particular trend line and this time it will not stop at 240 it will directly break and it can try to go to 17200 also so since they have a lot of put longs uh, there is a possibility that the intensity of going down can be strong and where do we buy uh, so within this area that is 17300 to 17390 avoid taking any trades uh, people who are aggressive traders they can try to take a trade here based on a you know like red candle forming lower low you can buy a put here this will help you to put a very small sl just above the pdh you can keep your sl and take an entry here and for call we'll only take an entry if we see a 15 minutes candle closing above 17,390, then we can expect it to go until 17,500. Okay. So, so far we do not see any lower low and lower high formation in the price action. That is the only reason we are not getting that confidence of, you know, going short in any index at the moment. But however, uh, you know, there are a lot of people who try an early entry. So, at this area, definitely buying call becomes difficult because your quantity has to be reduced because the market is overstretched at the moment so what we'll do is uh, below 17300 we'll be ready to short uh, nifty and around if it breaks 17280 we should definitely try entering into the put and our target should be somewhere around 17200 and at the top near 17390 you can definitely buy a put with a stop loss of 17410 and then we can expect it to come until 17250 here we can plan to book our profits the maximum profits there you can trail for 17200 level so this is uh, based on where we buy put and where we buy call so what about a gap down opening so today the gap down opening uh, you know turned the market bullish because we are in a bull trend but it doesn't happen every day okay tomorrow imagine that nifty opens below 17300 obviously you will see a strong selling pressure on the downside okay so if we open below 17300 definitely we are going to buy a put as soon as it fills this gap We'll enter on a put and we can expect it to fall until 17200. So that should be your plan. Any gap up opening above this level, we'll wait for it to come down. And if it crosses the day high before 10.30 a.m., we are definitely going to enter into a call. So this is my view on Nifty. Let's quickly check out Bank Nifty. Okay, so this is Bank Nifty at the moment. And call should be only purchased above the day high, which is 38,180. So, above 38,180, we'll buy call, and our target should be 38,350 and then 38,500. And where do we buy put? So, put should be bought uh, only below 37,800. Okay, below 37,800, we'll buy put and once this trend line breaks we'll be ready so this trend line comes around 37880 so once this level breaks we'll be ready and we'll be vigilant and once we get closing below 37800 
so that is like it is going to close below this previous swing so on a 15 minutes time frame if you check this particular swing this happens to be an important swing because from here it broke the swing high that means here also we still see the price action of higher high and higher low okay so this swing needs to be broken and then we can expect a sharp fall uh, the immediate target after 37800 will be around 37400 and then 37200 okay so call only above 38 180 or 38200 and put only below 37800 aggressive people can enter into a put here with a small stop loss but if bank nifty breaks this level then it can go up with the momentum and we can expect the further targets of 38 350 and 500 this is my view on nifty and bank nifty for tomorrow and i'll post the algo video also uh, as i'm already late i may not record it at the moment but i'll try to record it in the night so today also algo gave profit to all of us uh, for few uh, the target of 3000 got hit but for few uh, it was a trailing stop loss that got hit uh, around 1900 to 2000 rupees profit that was because uh, bank nifty at the beginning it just filled the gap and came down with a 10 or 20 points additional move it would have hit 3000 target for everyone but you know since we entered in a market order a difference between 4 5 rupees uh, the target was missed a lot of people saw profit of around 2900 however it did not hit 3000 but for few it uh, hit the 3000 target so this is the update about the algo i'll definitely try to upload the video also but it may come late night thank you for watching let's meet in another video too and take care bye bye